Welcome to myprojectbuzzer.com and this is our title rescue wings uh, mobile computing and active services support for disaster rescue uh, now abstract uh, during disaster events timely and targeted information provisions and actions could provide a uh, great help to the uh, stricken populations in difficult and complicated environments this paper reports a service oriented system called rescue wings for providing emergency support to suppers and rescuers in disasters the system utilizes mobile services to acquire real time information about the users and the environment and the construct services agents to provide active services for mobile users to perform their functions the servants frequently invoke a set of a uh, set of intelligent services of rescue wings which can further access a number of uh, public services identify the most frequent request sequence patterns <coughs> of rescue wings and develop a new bio inspired algorithm for efficiently Scheduling the request to minimize the responsibility of the system has been tested in several disaster rescue hotels and has been successfully applied to the 2013 earthquake in South Korea, China. Uh, we are now facing increasingly the uh, threat from uh, natural and man made disasters. In order to effectively plan and implement disaster rescue operations, first responders have to obtain, uh, obtain such uh, much uh, detailed information as possible about population dynamics. Paying special attention to special groups such as children, elderly, and disabled. It also expected that disasters and evaluation information should be transmitted to the affected populations in timely and accurate manners, which can have an enormous effect in saving lives and reducing damage. While the importance of customized intelligence services for assistance in the population's emergencies has always been recognized. Uh, Challenges surrounding the designs, deployment, management, its emergencies, and our wider publications in the in the last three years, we have been working on the. The project name Rescuing is conducted mainly upon a combination combinations of two emerging pandemics: mobile computing and cloud computing. On the other hand, the 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 portability and the ease of information storage and, and the dissemination has enabled mobile devices to become one of the most valuable means of communication with the populations. And the recent trends in the mobile computing have motivated interest in accessing web services from mobile devices in order to extend their functionality and gain access to remote data. On other hand, cloud computing technologies enable configuring, uh, scheduling, and coordination of shared resources via virtual station, and thus greatly facilitate communication between a broad range, and thus greatly facilitate communication between broad range. Uh, who can upload a main a maintenance layer profiles on the servers when entering into emergency mode as a, a, a service agent whose behaviors are defined by active service programs. Is in, is insensible for more rescuing clients. The servants are responsible for actively collecting the health information and monitoring the states of the clients on the spot and providing regular services to assist the users itself protection escape. Rescuing has access to a number of public services for obtaining rescue information and provide a set of intelligence services for supporting the responders in different stages of rescue operations. However, information exchange with traditional TSS is slow and often error prone mainly. Because of different semantics of data sources, present barrier to interoperability, which was uh, which are uh, especially uh, unexpected in, uh, in an emergency situations. Web services technology, which enables high levels interoperability among heterogeneous resources in the network, provides uh, much more flexible mechanism of interactions and coordination of business processes and uh, distributed across different organizations. And this is our project flow. In this, we have an application interface. In this application interface, we will be providing a user interface for a user for, uh, for accessing the applications in an, uh, in an risk emergency areas. And next, we will be getting into an hotspot connectivity. In this hotspot connectivity, we need to enable our hotspot to get connected to an applications who are all using our applications. Then, in the message setting, we can able to send a message within the devices which is being created, uh, which is being created uh, connected to an, a particular hotspot or a single hotspot where the devices been get connected by this messaging we can able to send and receive messages in a hotspot via without a current with um, without a current request and then uh, receiving messages can be given by a rescue gang in this rescue gang we can they can able to replay the messages which can be able to uh, which can be able to reach by an end users in a rescue areas and uh, when you run our application this is uh, uh, 
this screen will be getting as an home screen for you and in this home screen you can able to see a devices which can be able to uh, get the devices which have been get connected in our hotspots uh, and uh, this is our messaging view. In this messaging interface, we can able to send the messages to one uh, uh, to one uh, users which have been get available in your uh, in your phone directory. Uh, these users will be get connected via a hotspot, and by using this hotspot, the message will be traveled to between. And in this panel, you can able to see an options between a call and a send files. You can able to go, or you can able to share your voice calls or. or or else you can able to share your files which is being available between the users which are will get connected in your hotspots and this will be the replay from the rescue gangs which is can which can be get in your own applications in and group chats uh, you can able to retrieve an uh, informations from a rescue gang by this uh, by this conversation screen